Do you want to know how to design cool patterns for your brand projects in just a few simple steps? Today I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's dive right in. In our last video, we've created a unique vector illustration for the flower shop brand Breezy Blooms. We used the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you haven't watched this video yet, definitely check it out here. Today we're going to take this illustration to the next level and use it in order to create a pattern and design the breezy blooms can use for the wrapping paper. Let's get started. First, let's open up Adobe Illustrator and load the vector illustration we've created last time. Make sure your artwork is grouped together for easier editing. To create a pattern, simply select your illustration and then go to Object, Pattern, Make. This will open up the Pattern Options panel. Here you can name your pattern, adjust the tile type and play around with the spacing. So let's rename our pattern to breezy blooms pattern then you can choose the copies and here i'm choosing seven by seven so i have a better overview of the repetition of my pattern then i encourage you to play around with the tile type to see which one best fits your illustration in our case that would be the bricks by column type after that you can choose the bricks offset and again just try out the different options to see what looks best for you so you can achieve a a good visual balance and some variety of shape alignment in your pattern. Remember, creating a pattern is all about balance and repetition, so take your time to adjust the elements until you're satisfied with the look. For the spacing, you have two options. You can either type out the exact width and height or actually click on the small pattern tile tool button in order to be able to adjust the spacing just by dragging those anchor points. I find this way much easier as you can visually adjust the spacing and you also have a live preview. If you feel like there are some empty gaps into your pattern, you can always add some additional elements, move your existing elements around or even delete unwanted objects. Once you're happy with your pattern, just click done. Now it's time to test it out. In the swatches panel, select your newly created pattern swatch. Then create a rectangle or any other shape that you like and it will be filled with your new pattern. This will give you a good idea of how how your pattern will look when it's printed on the wrapping paper. If you notice any areas that need adjustment, don't worry at all. You can always go back to the pattern options and tweak your design. To do so, simply double click the pattern swatch in the swatches panel and make your desired adjustments. Remember, the key to a great pattern is visual balance, so don't be afraid to make changes until you get it just right. Once you're satisfied with your pattern, click done again in the pattern options panel. Your pattern is now updated in the swatches panel and can be used just like I showed you. As always, I have a bonus tip for you. If you want to quickly test out different color palettes on your pattern, you can use the new Adobe Illustrator AI Recolor Tool prompts. This feature is currently in beta version. But all you need to do is make sure that Adobe Illustrator is updated to its latest version. Then simply select your pattern, go to the Recolor Artwork tool, and here you can see the new text prompt generator. You already have so many presets to choose from, but you can also type your own prompt in the box here. For example, let's ask Adobe Illustrator to create a cheerful flower color palette. Feel free to adjust your prompt in order to explore more color palette options and choose the one that fits the needs of your project. Now finally, let's see how our pattern looks on a mock-up of a wrapping paper. Simply open up your desired mock-up in Photoshop, then copy the pattern from Adobe Illustrator and paste it here. Make sure you paste it as a smart object. Finally, adjust its size and positioning as needed. Isn't it cool to see your design come to life? Mock-ups are a great way to quickly present your design ideas to your clients. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you never miss out any future videos. If you have more free time, definitely check out this video on how to design a 3D poster in under 10 minutes using only Adobe Illustrator. If you're looking for free design and e-commerce resources, check out my website at albena.design and go to the resources page. You will find a link to the freebies in the description box below. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.